Now over to Marquette, where perhaps two of the very best to ever play for the Redettes on the volleyball court, and Sila Rushka and Maria Mulatto, a team with consistent success, good coaching, and a couple shining seniors leaving their mark, chasing after some lofty goals. The Marquette Redettes volleyball team is off to a great start in 2021, led by Coach Crandall Williams, who says to be a successful team, you must be consistent and effective at two things, passing and serving. Every player at, the, at, at every level, every team, you hear it from the Olympics all the way to beginning volleyball is you have to serve and you have to pass. So on our team, we spend a lot of time every day on serving and passing. For a team to be successful, it's almost essential to set goals. However, for a team to reach those goals, talent is a must. The Redettes have the talent, and it comes with leadership in the form of senior Maria Mulatto. I started in like, kindergarten with Siler. Her mom created an Arty Cats group, and we, she used to just pick me up at my house and take me to the gym and play. And then there was like the middle school program at Rockwell, and then it kind of just snowballed into the high school. I've also known these girls for basically my whole life, and so we've been friends before, and I think that every year it's just fun to come out and play with them. First of all, Maria is a, she's a multi-sport athlete. She's a standout in everything she does, so she's just got a great athletic ability to her. She's strong, she's fast, she's tall, she can jump. Um, so she really always, she has the basic tools to become a great player. Coach Crandall Williams acknowledged her tremendous senior standouts in Sila Rushka and Maria Mulatto and says both players will leave a big void next season as the talent they possess offensively is rare. Well, I can tell you it's going to be sad next year because what those two can do Offensively especially, I mean defensively as well, but what those two can do offensively is something we don't normally see in rural northern Michigan. They, uh, they really both sort of elevate the team to another level with their play. I think it'll definitely hit harder after we're done. I'm going to realize, like, because I've been doing this all my life, it's going to be weird when it stops. One of our goals has always been to win districts. and. We've been so close every year, and I think that we just learn every year what we need to work on more. And I think that going to tournaments and seeing the teams we're going to play will help us a lot this year. I think we're at a really good spot right now. 